Junkin. I'm an interventional pain specialist and I'm going to talk to you about low back pain today. Low back pain is extremely common. The statistics tell us that about 75% of people experience low back pain at some point in their life. Acute low back pain is pain that's occurred for less than three months. Typically that goes away on its own and a lot of times that's from muscle injury or other kind of surface type injuries. Chronic low back pain is low back pain that's occurred for longer than three months or some people say six months. And if you've had pain for that lasts longer than three to six months, then you probably should think about seeing a pain doctor. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the common causes of low back pain. This is the back part of the spine, and these are called the spinous processes that stick out, and you can probably feel those on your back. This down here is the sacrum. This is the sacroiliac joint. This is the ilium. The hips and the legs connect in at this point here. The low back starts at the lumbar area, L5, which connects to the sacrum. Then you have L4, L3, L2, L1, and then it goes into the thoracic spine. And finally, the cervical spine is your neck. The thoracic spine is where you have all of your 12 ribs. In the low back pain, there are several areas that can cause painful problems. One of those conditions would be a muscle strain. The muscles are the most superficial layer and they do have deeper muscles. Those muscles can get strained, bruised, stretched, or even sometimes you can sever a muscle. Those things take time to heal. They are painful. Uh, typically that is felt as an ache. Sometimes it's felt as a sharp pain when you move or twist. Other structures that I'm going to talk to you about usually are for people who have chronic back pain. Let me show you some of those things as well. You'll see an example here of this red bulging disc or herniated disc. That just means part of the disc has come out and is pushing towards the neuroforamen area. This is the neuroforamen. That's where the nerve exits. When it pushes directly on the nerve, that causes mechanical irritation and people have typically radiating pain, pain that shoots down into the leg, shoots into the hip, shoots into the groin, depending on which nerve is irritated. There's also chemical irritation. This disc can also leak irritating substances upon the nerve, um, which also will cause some of that radiating pain. That's one of the causes of pains, and that's the one we always hear about, bulging disc, sciatica, radicular, radiating pain. Those are commonly related to the disc and an irritated nerve root. The, one of the, another common cause of back pain, and this might be the most common cause of back pain, is irritation in the joints or arthritis in the joints. This is also sometimes called spondylosis or facet arthropathy. These are called the facet joints. These allow for mechanical motion. Sometimes when these joints get arthritis, they can become irritated. This is typically felt as a back pain that's irritating in this area and here. And so patients typically will feel that in here, sometimes into the buttock area. Usually it does not radiate down below the knees. There is something that pain doctors will do to try and diagnose if that's the source of your pain. And really that's what your pain doctor wants to do is figure out exactly where your pain is coming from and then figure out the solution to help you solve that pain problem. Another common cause of back pain is sacroiliac joint pain. And again, this is the sacrum here, this is the iliac. The pain from sacroiliac joint pain is typically felt in the low back area here and sometimes down into the sacrum. Sometimes that can also radiate towards the front or towards the hip. You also can have pain that comes from inside of the disc itself or pain that comes from the vertebral body. Typically when the vertebral body is involved, there's a fracture that's taken place. And you can see that on an MRI and your pain physician will help you to figure out if that's the source of your pain. Those are some of the common causes of low back pain that come from certain structures in the back. There are other structures that cause pain as well. Sometimes abdominal pain, kidney stones, other things like that can cause refer pain to the back area. Again, that's something that your doctor will help you to figure out. One of the things I do want to caution you about or warn you about is if you have any new weakness in your extremity, if you're tripping, falling, or if you have any bowel or bladder incontinence where you can't take control of your bowel or your bladder, those are sometimes, con those are considered surgical emergencies and typically people who have those uh, problems associated with back pain need to go directly to the hospital and see an emergency room physician. I hope this helps you. Thank you very much.